before the video starts, quick shout out to TCG Gods on Instagram. Thank you so much for being active, turning my post notifications on, and commenting on the video. If you guys want a post notification shout out like TCG Gods, all you have to do is comment down in the description below, say that you subscribed and you turn my notifications on, and you can even tag your Instagram for a shout out on there. So I'll see you guys in the video. Let's go. All right, everybody. So welcome to another video. What I'm going to be showing you right now is how to complete the Bandos Throne Room Agility course. And first off, a lot of the tutorials I've seen don't show you how to get to this goblin town. So the, the place is called Dorgish Khan, and I'm going to show you exactly how to get here. But first, what you need to get is some items. So you need to get a molten glass and a law rune. I think you need two law runes, so grab two law runes just in case, and a molten glass. And if you're already here, there's a bank right over here, so you can definitely just go there. But if you don't know how to get there, teleport to Lumbridge, and I'll meet you there. Alright, so we're in Lumbridge, so if you have your molten glass, your two law runes, your lantern or any light source because it's going to be dark, some food, and a mithril grapple. That, those are the items you're going to need, and a crossbow. Don't forget your crossbow so you can use your grapple. And sorry if you can hear my mouse clicking, I will try to avoid that. But I wanted to show you a live, better updated video to where I'm showing you how to get to this place because when I looked up for a video, um, the person who did it did not show you how to get this area. I was like, well, how do I get there? So I had to take an hour to figure out myself just so I could show you guys. Alright, so you go down to the kitchen in Lumbridge. Go down here into this crack. Go along this area. And see these little... Okay, so these little... So you walk across this bone bridge, and there's these little blue lights, so you kind of just have to follow those along the path, because if you go down right here, where my mouse is at, you will fall through into the swamp. So you kind of just have to go along the path of these blue lights. And I've already done this twice to make sure it's 100% safe, just so I got the whole thing right. So you go over here. And I already have what I would need to get, so I already know what I'm doing. So you just follow this path, make sure not to step on those things, and then see right there, like that would be a dead end. So you go over here, you have to go all the way around. Let's zoom out real quick, just in case we fall. You're just following the path of these blue lights. And it gets a little bit darker, so it might be a little bit harder to see. So, right row. Alright, so we go between the bones, because that's a. Oh, crap. Alright, well, I guess I'm not going that way. Good thing it didn't. Please don't fall. Alright, so I, I didn't mess up. Luckily. Okay, so you don't go this way, you just go straight towards the blue light. So I guess I'm not going to fall through on that one. I got, I got really scared. I was about to fall through. Just keep on following the blue light. Not that way. Okay, so there's these symbols, and they kind of just show you where to go. See how the light's pointing this way? That just means go that way. Because see where the crap is? You'd fall through that part. And boom, you are almost there. So we're getting through here. This is where the goblins are, and you just go through this little door right here to the south. And there you are. You made it to... Dorgishkan. I think that's how you pronounce the name. But some people are like, oh, you just go here and boom, you're there and just talk to this guy. But a lot of people don't know how to get to this area if they don't remember doing the quest or if they've never done the quest because you have to have a quest to complete. So if you need to get some stuff in the bank, there it is. And then you walk over here north of the bank, go to this guy, talk to him. 
and then hit buy sphere and you will give him the molten glass and the law runes and then I think you can pick what kind of sphere you get like the throne room so and then you just click break and then you're there so I hope you guys did enjoy this video and I'll be making a lot more so if you guys are needing help on other tutorials or challenges like the daily challenges just let me know and I'll make those for you so thanks guys for watching and I'll see you next time